So in this video, we're going to cover the most important page that I think, the dashboard. The dashboard is your primary landing spot in Foreman. So when you come in here, the objective of the dashboard is to show you the health of your mind and kind of tell you where you should be focusing your attention. The most important thing about the dashboard is that it's generally not one size fits all. So you can actually enter the page builder bottom left and customize that. And we'll do that a little later in this video. The way that we have the dashboard structured right now, you can see your hash rate for the day. So I can see 725 petahash. I can also get a feel for how bad the mine was at any point in time throughout the day. So I can see the worst this dashboard ever was was 725 petahash. So this would in indicate to me, this is a pretty healthy mine. We're generally hashing right where we should be and we're not drifting too much. Just because it's always important to know how profitable we are, we show you some market prices here as well. You can see how much revenue you're generating. The interesting thing about how revenue is calculated in Foreman is we're an independent third party from this perspective. So we are keeping tabs on your machine's performance. We're keeping tabs on your machine's uptime. We're syncing with Bitcoin network stats. So we can give you an estimate on how much we think you should be generating. And that's generally very good to have on the dashboard so you can compare it to how much you're actually being paid. 6,886 miners online out of 6,907. So a couple of those are offline. Power consumption is always good to know. You want to know how much power is my facility consuming? And also on the right, how much is how much is that costing me? Performance throughout the day. So generally I'm, I'm expecting to see a pretty flat hash rate here. General difference between Foreman and how we calculate hash rate and how pools derive hash rate is we're in the mine looking at the equipment all day, every day. So the machines are generally performing at a fairly constant rate unless they're failing. So for this mine, this hash rate's pretty flat. 725 peta hash, pretty flat all day long. From the pool's perspective, they don't actually know what machines you have in the facility, so they can kind of see how quickly they're answering, the, how, how quickly they're solving the problems, and they're deriving your hash rate. So from the pool's perspective, it will look a little more kind of fluctuates throughout the day. From Foreman's perspective, because we can see the device and see how it's performing, we know exactly where it is. So you'll generally see a flatter hash rate in Foreman, more fluctuations from the pool level dashboard. Another really important thing, is you want to generally make sure that everything that your miners are doing, you're being paid for. So you want to see a lot of green bars on the right under the, under the pool statistics. A lot of green. Uh, what miners are doing all day is they're submitting shares to the pool. Green means you're getting paid. Orange and red mean you're not getting paid. These graphs are interactive, so I can say turn off the accepted shares. And now I can see how many rejects and stales I've actually had by hour across the day. So generally, very, very quick glance at this dashboard, I can see very little orange, very little red. So that means that a lot of the work that we're doing, we're getting paid for. So this is a very effective mine. Miner status, good to get a feel for how, how widespread problems are across your operation. So it looks like we have 120 miners here that actually need some attention. It looks like most of our miners are connected to the pools and there have been no reboots today. So our operation's kind of pretty static. We've got flat hash rate, not a lot of reboots going on, not too many miners needing attention. We'll hit on some of the customizations really quick. So generally one thing that a lot of people care about is you wanna see what types of equipment I have in the facility. I also wanna make sure that they're all hashing. So if you're curtailed, they might be asleep. If you're not curtailed, you would expect them to be hashing. So we're gonna go ahead and edit this dashboard and actually add two blocks in to help us extract that information really quick. So I'm gonna to go to the page builder bottom left. Earlier, you might have heard me fumble a little bit on the fractions here. Those can sometimes be a little tricky to read. So I'm gonna go ahead and reconfigure this block here. And rather than saying 6,886 out of 6,907, I'm gonna change this to a percentage. So now I can see 99.69% online. So that's pretty good. We'll go ahead and add two blocks at the bottom. We're gonna add the minor types block. So now I can see a distribution of all the equipment that I have at this facility. So I can see that we have a chunk of S17 pluses, some S19 pros. Neat thing about Foreman is we can also identify the nameplate hash rate. So not just an S19 pro, but Foreman can actually tell you that for this account, there are S19 Pro 105Ts and some 110Ts also. We also do support custom firmware, so you can see that there's some miners running Venetia on here. So now we have the custom miner type block added. We'll also add the power modes. And now I can see that it looks like every miner on this account is hashing. I can also see how the, how the models are distributed. We'll go ahead and save this layout. We'll close out of the page builder. And now we have a nice new dashboard so we can see all this information together. 